ukifika kwa mogu unaenda kuchukua mwili ya Rebecca. Hiyo ulifanya na Sir George ni wizi wa mwili. Ungekuja kwa familia, uonge na mtoto mzuri anarudi kwa familia, anapata ushawishi. Wacha nikuongeleshe mimi ndo nilikana wewe. Nilikanaeka mama mako ametoroka America for eight years. Na nikakuzomesha. Mama anakwambia sina saa ya kungangana na wewe. Ulitukuta na Rebecca. Ulitukuta na Rebecca acha nikukumbushe. Ndio kwa maana nilikwambiaje? Niko kitandani na lala. Chukua mwili uende nayo kule unaenda. Sina saa kubishana juu ya Rebecca kitu staki aku amekuwa mog izidi kukuwa bei kali sisi hatuna hiyo pesa wewe ulitoka na America ukachangiwa badala ukuja ukuta I'm not happy sabi I'm not happy did I not come to your grandmother's funeral when you came from America with your mom was I not there you were there you, you were there and, uh, your mama didn't want to 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 extract in the home i took her to kisuma in my daughter's home what are you people really trying to show us may i move away and come back yes please Mom, yeah, I love mom. you, Sabina. I don't know. Adija is so when she was very young. I, I, do, don't I look like Rebecca or, or, or my father came back to me with Rebecca in different fathers? Nyeo <laughs> Usikufa anti. Naenda ija nikirudi ninarudi hapa kwa Susan. Patieni pastors na fasi watu wame hata kama ilifanyika. Me I came from Bondo. Do I stay in Nairobi? Sawa anti. Bila kubali muombe fanye mas. Mfanye mas. Mimi si yangu. Mimi nimekuja juu watu wa familia wameweka. Sasa walichanga walichukua back wajanunulia mamangu hata sweater hata nini hata anything kumpanguza macho anything mochori yote everything pesa walichanga, walichanga hapo shauri moyo walichanga shauri moyo the money they took it back ama whatever they are doing with it me i don't know i left and they opened another group in in america they changed money i don't know where it is while you give it back whatever they have not given us a cent towards my mom they have not done anything they didn't like her videos they didn't like nothing she was doing and they kept at arms length wamekuwa mkimtitiva vibaya most of the family members talking now they are all people who alishawambia June she didn't even want them in her, in her funeral ni ma watu wenyewe hajakuwa karibu na yeye na while the last even aunt yangu nimemwona hapo alichapa mamangu tu yo before before akufa hiyo like two maybe two three weeks ago i'm fine na yeye mamangu amekufa na concussion hapo na sister yake alifunga nayo bottom line is don't send this for money we have done what we did our wishes the way she wanted and we are trying to be at peace kama mnataka kuwasendia money just know it's not helping us maybe you just mm. send them money you want to give them money because you wish to that is your thing yeah. but we are not whatever they think we may decide sisi tulikuwa or whatever ah, they decided to court. fight us we were about Bita. to be at court that's their plan to take us to uh, court actually, to start actually, fighting kidogo for, for my mom and all that dadake rebecca acha nimpandishe kidogo tu me personally i'm just telling you guys that but i'm not fighting with anyone and i have told you what i've told you you guys do what you want to do and i just got to go on me i'm no, wait, gonna just drop me when don't, 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 don't drop i am I'm not you vida vida don't drop don't drop don't drop don't drop okay don't drop vida vida and i'm not fighting anyone anymore i'm over it vida 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 don't drop kind of ayola ni onge mom don't drop me just take calm ayola i've been more than calm i've been more than calm ayola ni onge Vida don't drop kindly okay. because we are all your mom's friend kindly hiyo ni kwa raha yako sabitu kungangana na wewe ulinita saa 11 umefika kwa mogu unaenda kuchukua mwili ya rebeka hiyo ulifanya na saa joji ni wizi wa mwili ungekuja kwa familia uonge na mtoto mzuri anarudi kwa familia anapata ushawishi wacha nikuongeleshe mimi ndo nilikana wewe nilikanaeka mama mako ametoroka America for eight years na nikakuzomesha mama anakwambia sina saa ya kungangana
mwana na wewe ulitukutana Rebeka ulitukutana Rebeka acha nikukumbushe ndio kwa maana nilikwambiaje niko kitandani na lala chukua mwili uende na kule unaenda sina cha kubishana juu ya Rebeka kitu sitaki aku amekuwa mog hizi ni kukuwa beikali sisi hatuna hiyo pesa wewe ulitoka na Amerika ukachangiwa badala ukuje kukutana na familia utusaidie kwa majonzi tumeka hapa na macho zetu nyekundu mpaka wa leo tujiona mwili ya Rebeka tujio vile inaendelea ndio huyu Rosemary anaongea na wewe ule anakakuja ndio huyu anti Rosemary wacha ongea na wewe ule anakaa Rebeka walikuwa Saturday for the viewing baka autopsy walikuwa hapo kwa autopsy ulikuwa na wewe unisaini Susan ling That's your peace. Make your peace. Move on. Move on. Susan, I want to talk to you. My legs are not talking. Susan, I don't need to argue with any. It's going to be a tarehe 14 in the evening. It was evening, it was like Sakumi, and they were going to complain about the tomb. Sakumi. And then, they were going to get a taxi to get a taxi. Aipeleke hospitalini kule eh, Rongai ndio wanaishi mahali panaitwa Twala. Sasa em, eh, yule taxi eh, alipokuja ni taxi madam, taxi mama ndiye ali, ali, alikuja eh, kumchukua nyumba, eh, nyumbani. Eh, akampata yeye na mfanyikazi yule wa kumoshia nguo, alafu na kuko na mfanyikazi tena mwingine mvulana, yeye ana deal na compound ya nyumba. Sasa hao ndio walikuwa nyumbani wakati eh, ana complain hiyo tumbo. So ikifika kitu kama eh, eh, five ish akakuwa ajiski sana. So wakajaribu kumbeba wamweke kwa gari hiyo hiyo taxi wampeleke hospitalini. So I think on the way on the way ndio aliaga aliaga dunia before afike hospitalini. Sasa eh, dereva akampeleka kwa police station ya Twala huko Rongai. Um, eh, OCS akatoka pale OCS jina lake ni Odiambo. Eh, yeye ni inspector Odiambo akaambiwa aka, aka, iko mtu wa eh, madam amefariki kwa gari na tuko nampeleka hospitalini. So yeye akamcheck aka, aka, aka akaona eh, kweli ameaga. So akatupigia simu sisi eh, huku Nairobi. Eh, OCS akaniambia eh, dada yako anaitwa Rebecca eh, ametuacha kwa hivyo unaweza ku, eh, kukuja eh, tunampeleka kwa mochari ya eh, city moja ndio vile alikuwa amesema mara ya kwanza and then eh, mimi nika activate eh, sister yangu eh, ambayo alikuwa Nairobi na mimi naishi Ruiru eh, akasema ataenda huko yuko mbele ataenda kwa sababu ilipigiwa simu na, na, na driver wa taxi eh, Suzi eh, nilipompigia alikuwa ameshafika mahali panaitwa Masai Lodge Masai Lodge iko huko Rongai yeye eh, OCS akamwambia nungoje hapo Mwili napita nayo hapo hivyo eh, Masai Lodge tukimpeleka City Mortuary. Hiyo ni 14 there in the evening. Ndio akampeleka Mortuary. Badala ya kumpeleka eh, City walibadilisha kumpeleka eh, Montezuma Mona Lisa. Wanasema uh, Suzy aliniambia ati dota wa, wa Rebecca alipiga simu akiwa kwa njia akamwambia ati badala ya kwenda City Mortuary waende Montezuma wakaenda Montezuma ndio waka deposit body hapo hivyo ikakaa kuanzia siku hiyo mpaka alipofanywa postmortem uh, last uh, last uh, Saturday hivyo ndio vile ilikuwa iko swali lingine so mbona mkuja kutuambia yani ni nani huyu alikuja akachukua okay after that Mwili yake ilichukuliwa aje mpaka ikaenda ikafanywa hiyo 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, what are the yeah. results of the yeah. postmortem in Asamani? Yeah. Uh, siku ya postmortem ilikuwa Saturday ya. Mm-hmm. Alafu uh, uh, autopsy hiyo ya postmortem ilifanywa na uh, Dr. Uh, Oduo. Anaitwa nani ule ule uh, uh, country's pathologist, government pathologist. Anaitwa Oduo. Uh, yeye ndiye ali, ali, alifanya hiyo uh, uh, postmortem na sisi sote tulikuwa hapo on Saturday. Uh, karibu uh, watu we were like uh, 10 10 10 10 or 11 people. Eh, wala wali shuhudia postmortem ikifanywa tukaambi eh, daktari akatoka akasema eh, kifo chake kimetokana na blood clot blood clot ilikuwa kwa kifua hapa alafu zilikuwa eh, karibu zingine sita pande ya chini huku hivi alisema ati blood clot iki 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 kwama sana kubwa kubwa inaweza fanya mtu akufe kwa haraka kwa sababu imezuia njia ya blood to flow hiyo ndio ilikuwa result ya ya nini ya 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 hiyo um, postmortem but daktari alikata pieces zingine kwa mwili ambazo akasema tanapeleka kwa government patho, uh, government uh, chemist uh, yeye ika, ikachunguze kama kuna kitu uh, ana suspect kwa hizo ma pieces za mwili ile ambayo walikuwa wamekata kata uh, wanataka kuna ku check uh, further, further, further analysis uh, akatuambia tukikutana on monday Eh, afternoon kitu kama lunch time atakuwa ameshapata result za hizo eh, vitu alikuwa amechukua alisema ati wanaenda ku eh, kama kulikuwa kwa na toxicology kwa hizo pieces za mwili zile alikuwa amekata kwa hivyo akasema tukutane on monday afternoon even the villa ilituambia so we were prepared like this that monday afternoon tukikutana atatuambia eh, result za toxicology 